Well, the onset of fall weather certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley and we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. Straight ahead we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the San Francisco 49ers. The Niners set to take over on offense. Here's the Pro Bowler, Christian McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. To throw on second down is Darnold. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now it's third and four. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that they will get a dozen there and it's a first down 49ers so they give up the completion there but defensively charles you're going up against a quarterback here who's had some moments but really a lot of ups and downs in the early part of his career what's the plan against a guy like this well, you want to rattle him first and foremost bring some people at him a couple extra guys in the pocket see if he can handle it. the second thing you want to make him think Show him one look, go to another, disguise a few things, make him throw into what you call your defensive traps and try and make some good plays on the ball and get a few takeaways. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a yard. A fake to McCaffrey, now Darnold. And he'll find McLeod on the right side complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A nice gain there to his trusty tight end, and now it's got them thinking opening drive touchdown here as they get into the red zone. And in most cases with your tight end, you feel like you've got a mismatch no matter who's covering him. Is it a small cornerback? Is it a linebacker who may not run as well? In any event, whatever you see, you think that tight end can win that battle. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And the 49ers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Off of play action, Darnold. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Charlie Warner from four yards out. And the 49ers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Jake Moody now for the point after. 
And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Bengals offense returns to the field. going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their 25 yard line now a man born here in California Joe Mixon and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon to me what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs they've got to give their defense a chance to settle down catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Burrow. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Burrow on play action. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. But Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. They'll set up the screen here to Mixon. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Back to throw, Darnold. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Darnold. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and ten. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. First down. Here's Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. They'll give him four yards there at its second down. In motion left goes Boyd. Oh, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third and one, Burrow. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Now a second and ten. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Over the middle, complete. That's Boyd. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 43. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Talanoa Hufanga, a first-time All-Pro last year, up to make the tackle. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now Burrow. 
Over the middle, he finds Higgins. It'll go as a gain of four, and it brings up third and five now. Now it's Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now Burrow on first down. Throw right side into the hands of the tight end sample. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's a fake on the jet sweep and a run up the middle with Mixon. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now the Bengals on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Burrow will throw. It's caught. Smith calling a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Burrow. That's complete right around the eight. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now it's Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. Touchdown! Joe Mixon from six yards away. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield, they're eligible too. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Oh, 
Oh, good looking return set up here. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. In a tie game, both sides are looking for something to give them an advantage. It often falls back on special teams. And that return, that could be the spark to untie the game. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Darnold now to throw. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, it's Darnold. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. On first and 10, Darnold. Over the middle, that's caught by McLeod. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now Darnold. Throw left side complete. That's Jennings. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Darnold. That's complete out left to Ayuk. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second and four, they could still get a first down without scoring. To the air again, Darnold. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Jerron Jennings in the final seconds of the first half. And the Niners have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. The extra point try now for Moody. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Bengal offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman.
A one touchdown ball game, 14-7 our scores. We get back at it on EA Sports. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They'll come up facing third and five. Burrow looking to pass. And he is caught, and he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. He's got it to the 43 here. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Dre Greenlaw getting home on that one. And the passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Haven't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And Cincinnati score T Higgins 50 yards and the Bengals are an extra point away from evening this one up as a former DB you might not like to see that but from a wide receivers perspective those are the plays they dream of correct on both counts all right because once he took off I mean let's face it that should have been done in big sky country aren't any speed limits out there and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. 
After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's the type of impact play you expect from McCaffrey, the comeback player of the year runner-up in 2022. Despite a midseason trade, put up almost 1,900 all-purpose yards and also made his second Pro Bowl. On first down, Darnold. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That's good for 28 yards. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. This is a second and four, ball at the nine. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Here's Darnold. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And his kick here is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think he'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. 
Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. First down, here's Burrow. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Out of the gun. It's Burrow. To Mixon on the check down. Dances. And nothing but daylight. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. It's Mixon on the counter. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Back to Mixon on first down. 55 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Ball on the 27. Here's second and four. Now it's Burrow. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right, good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. McPherson's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter.
A first down throw, Darnold. That's complete to the tight end, Werner. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is gonna have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars and he came through with a nice catch right there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Darnold will hand off to McCaffrey. Takes it to about the 37. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So from the 37, here's second down and eight. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. That's a nice run right there. Able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And this is going to be intercepted. Daxton Hill picks it off. And the Bengals will take over here just shy of the 30. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From the gun, a give to Mixon. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now it's Burrow. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Ivan, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Back to Mixon on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. 
And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Well, the faithful in full roar here in Santa Clara. This is third down. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Mixing up the middle. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Inside handoff to Mixon. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it here with a minute 7 remaining. Here we go. First and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. McPherson now for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So Darnold and the Niners offense down 24-17. A little under a minute to go. They need a touchdown and the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Here's Darnold. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and 10 now. Darnold to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Now Darnold. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to him in open space and let them do what they do. 
Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, it's pretty difficult to sum it up offense in a two-minute drill. When your guys have struggled to put points on the board all afternoon, there's an incompletion right there. Another try, second and ten now. Darnold. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Darnold. Big strides, look at him go. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding of where they are in the field? One last throw now for Darnold. This ball intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Battle. So the game will continue for at least one more play. Could not finish a game on a defensive penalty. That's why they get one. And it's caught. It's a touchdown with zeros on the clock. And an extra point will send us to OT. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Well, this one was certainly one to remember. At the end, they get the touchdown. Thinking they're going to go for the PAT to tie it. They went for the win. Charles had guts to call it, but it didn't come to fruition. And I know the actual call happened right here at this game, but it really happened during the week where the head coach told himself, in a situation like this, we're going for the win. They did, didn't get it but he had conviction in what he was doing. So you think those moments often premeditated? I think they have to be, because if you rely on everything to come to you during the heat of battle, you often make more mistakes. And I think he felt like he had the team that could win, and he wanted to go for it every time. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.